Yeah. All right, guys. We just got you our the sharks blue feet? projector. The sharks had robot feet for the trailer. Came out of the water. We'll open it up, check it out, and try to figure out how I'm gonna actually mount this thing in the trailer. I don't even know if it works yet, but we're gonna go ahead and throw up a shelf. I wanted to do something that's removable um, so that we can put it up when we want the projector up, and when we don't, we can just take it down and, and get it out of the way. So what I figured out, I ended up buying uh, some door latches and through a lot of deliberation, came up with these door latches and this latch here. And these guys should, uh, ideally what we're gonna do is put it through the two by four here so that we have kind of like two shelves sticking out and then and I have two of those sticking out I put these on the wood and so it's going to just slide right on and it should uh, should hold up the projector it fits it perfectly so shouldn't be a problem right, so, so a couple things right projectors up and I know it's like glamping right now right but I'm pretty excited about it and uh, I think this is going to work out pretty well for us so let me kind of give you how I decided to work this. You know I've got a double bunk bed here. Um, the top bunk's the kids. The chance of this getting knocked off on this shelf up here is really, really, really likely. So I actually put a, a bolt through here that fits into the tripod mount of the projector itself. And that's holding it in place so it won't actually get knocked off or anything. Now what's actually pretty cool is these door latches, right? <clears throat> these door latches I was using. So I devised them in such a way that if I actually go under here and I move both of these latches to the side, to the other side, all the way, this thing pops right off. Check that out, right? I do have these two poles that remain, but I can actually um, take a hammer or even just push them, right? And I can push them back through and I can pull them completely out of the, of the wood so they're out of the way. And all that's left is two poles, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. Because I wanted something I could take down, uh, you know, put up and not have to drive down the road with this projector sitting up here all the time on the trailer. So if I want to put them back on here, I pretty much line them up, push it on, and then I rotate these things the opposite direction and check it out. Even if it does come out a little bit, it's locked on and it won't, it won't come off. So honestly, I love it when a plan comes together and this one for me totally came together. Um, the projector screen that we're using, something really, really simple. I uh, just bought a 60 inch projector screen off of Amazon. It's super thin. It just has some grommets that we hung up there with uh, just some, some regular like white hooks, nothing, nothing special at all. I drilled a little pilot hole, I hand screwed those in, and they're up there. Uh, right now I have my keys hanging on the bottom just to kind of weigh it down. But honestly, with this projector, I'm, I'm really I'm super impressed so far. It's a QKK mini projector that I bought off of Amazon for like 80 bucks. Super inexpensive. And for our purposes here in the trailer, it's gonna work great. So I'm, I'm excited about it, guys. Um, it's just, you know, we won't use it that much, honestly. When we go camping, we're gonna be outdoors most of the time, or at least that's the idea. Um, but on those days when it's pouring down rain and you just can't get out or there's nothing else to do, well, projector will come in really handy for it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.